Now what if you could have complete control of your base in Rust, without even having to be online? Well, with the latest Rust update, this has very much become a possibility. See, it doesn't even matter where you are anymore. With the click of a button, you can be back at your base faster than it takes a clan to raid a one by one. Hello? Can I help you? What are you doing outside my base? I'm gonna raid you, bro. I thought you were offline. I mean, I guess I am technically offline, but... Oh my god, oh my god. Adios, amigos. See, with the latest Rust update, you're now able to look through CCCB cameras on your phone. I'm gonna take this new feature along with the pipes to create my very own automated island. An island with full surveillance at every corner, ground, and sky. The plan is also to build a giant pipe from the mainland that will transport all of our loot to the island for us without us even having to step foot on the island at all. Today, I'm gonna try and build my very own fully automated island as a solo. This is five days worth of Rust content condensed down into one video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, step one is pretty self-explanatory. We've got to find an island and make sure nobody's built on it. The server we're playing on is Rustoria US Medium, but don't let the name fool you. This place is filled with massive clans and it's definitely not solo friendly. So having said that, let's jump on and try and get an island secured. Ah, uh, this guy with the boat. I'm going to go and see if I can get a ride. Hello there. Can I have a ride? Oh, no, man. What? Ah! Hey, how you doing today, sir? Hey, man, how you doing? Good. On a wipe day. See you later. <laughs> At least he was friendly about it. Right, there's quite a few islands on this map, but there's only one that really is worthwhile, and that's this one. Okay, we've got to get over there as quick as possible. Okay, I'm almost at the island. Looks pretty cool, actually. It's got some rocks on there, which we could maybe build on. We could have a little island rock base. Okay, let's go over there. We don't actually have any resources, and there doesn't seem to be a tree or anything. So actually, let's not go over there. Let's quickly grab some wood and stuff, and then pop a tool cupboard down. Please! Drop your sh right I now. have a wife. Wow. Okay, fine. Drop but I have a wife and, I won't and a kill kid. You. Okay, they don't have to. Okay. You can go back to them, okay? They need a father. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Boom. Building plans being crafted and lock as well, which was right there. Okay, let's swim over the island. I'm not seeing any bases yet. I'm going to try and build something around this rock. Because sometimes they're a bit hit and miss, these rocks that are just in the middle of nowhere. They're not the same as an actual rock cliff. But this one looks really, like, uh, straight here. I feel like we could build something against the side of it, and it would be really good. Right, let's do it right now. Let's just get the TC down. The best way to go about it, but I feel like just doing that. And then that would be good. Ah, there's always there's always one. That's To be fair, that's still good. I still like that. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. And we can do that right there for that. So yeah, it's quite strong. And we can even have that armored. So this will be our main loot room. And that'll be quite strong. Uh, I need to craft a hammer. Because as I said, the main loot room can be right here. We can have this honeycombed. We can have this armored. And this metal. And so this side will be super strong. Okay, boom. Right, let's bang this down. All right, that's horrible placement. But <laughs> we're doing it. Fine. Okay, nice. TC's down. Let's quickly go to mainland, grab some more resources, upgrade this a bit. This is our island. We're going to take it over completely. Excuse me, naked man. Woo! Nice hatchet skin. Okay, we've got ourselves a little paddle farmer carrying a torch out in the open. But well, this is what you get for carrying a torch. Even if he's got nothing. I uh, can uh, teach him a valuable lesson. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Hey. 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 Come here, lad. There we go. Was it worth it chasing this guy down? Hello, sir. I, I stalked you. Can you res me? Yeah, yeah. You, you just shouldn't... Basically, don't have your torch on. While it's night, bro. Here, take your stuff back. 
fact, that's all I can give you. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, there you go, lads. <laughs> the torch police. Don't have your torch out at night. Rule one out. That's rule one, actually, of playing Rust. Okay, we're heading back to the island. Hello. How are you? Man, I just spawned. I seriously want to... I wasn't going to kill you. I wasn't going to kill you, but you seem kind of angry. You, you, I don't know. Apologize. Yeah, because I just died. I just died with full inventory of farm. That's why I'm angry, you know? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Go get it back, man. Now, I'd spent the entire night roaming around collecting little bits of wood and resources. As a matter of fact, I probably spent too much time away from the island at this stage. <laughs> Enough time for, well, somebody else to potentially move in on the island, which is definitely something we don't want. Oh, there's somebody building a base over on the island. Literally right now. Okay, it's on. We've got competition. Seems to me like it's a small... Oh, it looks like they're placing a freaking tool cupboard. Just one guy. I see just one guy. Okay, I'm going to try and kill him because he's got a tool. And uh, he's chasing a deer. Oh, my God. Turn around. Got me on the ropes, this guy. Come on, bandages. I want you to go in my, in my freaking inventory. Oh, he's got me on the freaking ropes, this guy. Oh, he's pretty good. Got him. Oh, he didn't have much at all, really. And he's going to spawn on the island straight away. I don't know exactly where he's going to spawn. His sleeping bag's over here. We need to destroy it. There it is. Bye-bye, sleeping bag. Say hello to Nate the Great. Our first bit of island competition. Now, the only concern here is that Nate is not solo. In fact, the sky's the limit. You can have as many teammates as you want on this server. So, uh, we just gotta hope and pray he's not part of a big zerg. Anyway, it's a question of who wants the island more. And I definitely want this island. So bring it on, Nate. Okay, <laughs> sleeping bag destroyed. He's got a lock on his TC, of course he does. Let's uh, get our base upgraded a little bit. He's not destroyed my tool cupboard, has he? No, he has. Uh, uh, yeah, he has. Ah, oh, the bloody absolute. Uh, sorry, I've got enough for a new TC. Still annoying. <laughs> this guy wants this island for himself, mate. It's not going to happen. It's mine, bro. In fact, he probably did me a favor, to be fair, because... Um, the placement of my last TC was terrible. Yeah, I had the bottom foundation made out of wood, so he would have basically just um, destroyed that with spears. Okay, that's a better placement. Let's just see if we can place a door down right now. Door down, lock on. Wonderful. Okay, back to mainland. I need to farm some more resources. I want to get my base upgraded a bit. If anything, it'd be nice if we could get a tier, tier one. Then I can craft some um, handmaids and maybe raid this guy. He's going to probably be coming back to the island to upgrade his base, though. So, um, we got to kind of be quick. Oh, crap. Oh, one hit. Oh, good job, good job. It was one hit for me and one hit for him. Oh, of course, it's Nate the Great. Okay, boys, we are on my Narch Emesis. Oh. Green D-Guard. No, I'm crafting another TC because I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to TC bomb Nate the Great's little base. I'm going to put a tool cupboard in front of it to make it harder for him to expand and also just to be annoying. He's expanded his base a little bit. But not a lot. I'm getting shot from the mainland. Probably by Nate the Great. He's doing the smart. He's coming over. He's swimming over at the same time as me. It's whoever can get on the mainland. It's whoever can stand up quicker, basically. Which hopefully it'll be me. Go. You do Nate? realize I'm raiding your shit base and you're offline, right? Oh, he's a bit toxic, this one, boys, isn't he? 
we got ourselves a bit of a toxic boy on our hands. Now, just for a quick explanation for those of you that don't know what TC bombing is, well, it kind of describes itself, but if your neighbor has a small base, then what you can do is you can place tool cupboards around their base, which therefore will restrict them from upgrading and expanding their base because they'll eventually reach your tool cupboards and won't be able to go any further unless they destroyed the tool cupboards, of course. The cost to destroy multiple tool cupboards is definitely not worth the amount of time that it would take. In other words, if you get TC bombed on wipe day, you're pretty screwed. And that's exactly what I'm doing to Nate the Great right here, placing tool cupboards all around his base to prevent him from expanding. It's also not so useless for us because eventually we're going to want to have low of tool cupboards on this island to prevent anybody from building on here at all. I ain't gonna be offline, Nate the Great. So, uh, don't worry about that, mate. Honestly, I think there might be an extra bow. Uh, there, yeah, there we go. Got it. Boom. Extra bow. Nice. Nate the Great is pretty good with his bow. I will say that he might be slightly stronger than me, but we're not gonna be logging out, mate. All right, let's go back to mainland. I've TC bombed his base, so I've placed these two tool cupboards. I couldn't upgrade the ceiling to that one, though, because I think it's too close, which is annoying. And it's weird, because I was able to upgrade the side, but not the ceiling, which makes no sense to me. So, I don't know. I might try and upgrade that in a sec. But I've also placed another TC there as well. So, there's your two tool cupboards for you, mate. The only thing that worries me, I've got none of the blueprints. And I'm guessing he's probably got them all, because it's like the fourth week into the month. If he plays on this server regularly, which I'm guessing he does, he might have all the BPs. All right, we made it back. Let's get that furnace down right now. Which furnace skin shall we go for? Yeah, a volcano furnace has got to be the one. Let's do it. Perfect timing, night time. And get that metal smelting while it's night. Maybe be a bit sneaky and go around Nate's base and see if he's come back to the island yet. Doesn't look like Nate's returned yet. I'm just waiting for him to swim over to the island. I feel like he's he's got to be on his way back to the island juiced up. Here he is. Oh, no, it's a different guy. Never mind. Oh, he placed down a bag. That's got to go. Came all the way to the island to place down a bag. Is that is this Nate's friend? Potentially. I'm going to make a cup of coffee, boys, while it's night time. We've almost got enough metal to put the sheet metal door down. Now, when I return back to my computer after going AFK for a few moments, of course, Nate was outside along with his friend. It seemed like they were pretty set on door camping me. At this moment in time, I don't have an airlock. It's just one door to my entire base. Now, uh, one of my new mottos in Rust at the moment is to just try and be a bit more aggressive. Being more aggressive on Rust definitely pays off sometimes, but it can also come back to bite you. Case in point, there's two of them. He's brought his little bro. So yeah, I guess that other guy was, is with him. Ah! Oh. Gotta heal up. Right now. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Now, although Nate's friend Wyatt has just managed to get inside of our base, I did manage to close the door just before he downed me. So there is still some glimmer of hope. The only thing we can do is spawn on mainland, gather up the resources to craft a bow, and head straight back to the island. Ah, oh, he was so close to dying. <sighs> okay, I gotta be quick here. I have a little idea. Doors down, locks on. Create an airlock. There's a body bag in here with... Does it have the door? Does it have the sheet metal door? I don't think it does. I think they managed to get the sheet metal door. But we have an airlock now. Um, and I can put the furnace back on so we can get the sheet metal door. As long as I get the sheet metal door down, I know they're not going to be able to take me out like anytime soon like that's the main thing we've got to do right now um i thought they'd be able to throw the loot out from this gap but 
I know they should have been able to, to be fair, whether they just didn't try or whatever. I don't know. Now, after finally doing some much needed base upgrading, the sheet metal door is down. All right, <laughs> success this time around. Now, something surprised me. I mean, I suppose it's not that surprising when you take into account the TC bomb. But considering how things left off between Nate and I, when I went to scout out their base, I was expecting my sheet metal door to be placed down and maybe for them to have done some base upgrading. I'm guessing they've added the sheet metal door that I crafted. Oh no, they haven't. All right, that's unusual. Have they just decided to abandon the island? Has the TC bomb worked? From the looks of it, it would appear that Nate and his friend Wyatt have decided to leave the island with no base upgrading whatsoever. One can only assume that they've decided they can't be bothered with the hassle and they've packed up and relocated. Looks like we've got our island, boys. Where's that sleeping bag? I want to destroy all the sleeping bags they've placed on here, even if they have left the island. Bye-bye. Right, let's get the tier one workbench and let's just raid their base right now and just take over this tool cupboard in the middle of the island. Now that the opposition is no more, it's time to get to work. Now there's a supermarket really close to our island and this is where I'm gonna spend the first few hours of the wipe. Doing small trips, gradually collecting up loot and using the recycler. After just one trip, I already had enough to craft the tier one workbench. And tier one workbench is being crafted. Nate's little base, which I know that he doesn't live there anymore, but we're going to destroy it anyway. His base is pretty much right in the middle, so might as well take that. Take the tool cupboard and uh, get have it for ourselves. There we go. I would like to research uh, this sword. Sword's always good, so I'm going to go get the scrap to research that. And whilst we are doing that, let's put some sulfur in one of these furnaces, get that smelting. Okay, let's make a little trip to the abandoned supermarket. Hopefully there's people there this time. We can, might get some action. We need 170 scrap, which won't take long. I see a player going to the recycler. I don't think he knows I'm here. There's quite a lot of loot in there. We'll take it. All right, nice. Some decent recyclable stuff in here. This could give us a lot. Uh, well, this could give us the scrap we need. I think we need 170. Okay, we got 125 scrap. I'll have a look if there's anything else I can loot here. Oh, a player. And headshot. This guy had 14 scrap plus a spring. I think we should dip. I'm going to recycle the spring. Get that recycled. Hurry up. Okay. 150 scrap. Let's get back to base with that. Not a bad run. Okay, made it back. Oh, 161. We're nine scrap short. All right, let me quickly go and get 10 scrap. Hey, very good run, though. In fact, you know what? Let's just go back to the supermarket and do another run. We're going to be doing many of these runs anyway. A lot of rope. Very nice. We're going to need a large box. And we're going to need to, like, reorganize everything soon. In fact, our, sur our furnaces are doing quite well. Let's craft another double door and a single sheet metal as well. Hey, up. Oh. And while we're at it, let's let's not make our base a massive target with this industrial door. We're adding a wooden door there. I'm thinking that I'm thinking of doing this thing where like at this part of the base it goes up like this. And then this takes us up to the next floor. Um and then eventually what we can do is we can actually build on top of the rock. Yeah. Good. Okay, barrel just spawned. We only need 20 scrap. Give me a green. Oh, yeah. Coming in clutch. Made it back. Sword is being researched. All right. Sword in hand. We're taking over the island officially. Boom. Oh, there is loot inside. It's not a lot, but I was expecting nothing. Goes down. Locks on. 
placing the new tool cupboard down now along with the door and the lock sorry you guys can't see anything um but yes this is going to be an external we might do something with this base at some point for now it's just kind of a tool cupboard but yeah you never know later on in the wipe we could use this for something you have to put some metal in the tool cupboard to make sure it doesn't decay but adios amigo now this island we've built on is not super close to any massive monuments and on wipe day a lot of the more chad rust players and duos and trios and especially clans they tend to migrate towards the big monuments as quickly as possible this leaves people like me the lone solo player built on the edge of the map room to breathe you see, although it's wipe day and there's 400 crazy naked people running around the map, if you're living on the corner of the map, you'll tend to find that wipe day is pretty chill. You're not running into massive amounts of players. It's kind of a strange phenomenon. As soon as it gets to Saturday and Sunday, these areas of the map are filled with bases and you can barely move anywhere. But on wipe day, these areas tend to be really relaxed. So this gives us chance to farm. And that's exactly what I did. I farmed up loads of resources and reinforced our base as much as possible before this area gets more hectic. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a base tour, just an update on what I've just done. The overall layout has been established. So yes, come inside, my friends. The base kind of goes up the to the second floor and then wraps down underneath around the other side of the base and back down under. Now, if you turn right, that's gonna take you into this section. Of course, here, I am gonna have this going up. You guys know already, the top of the rock, as you can see. So we will have something built up here at the top of the rock. Um, I'll figure out how I'm going to do that very soon. Anyway, so yeah, that takes you up to the top of the rock. And then you come down through here, this door. We've got another wooden door here. That's just going to lead to a loot room. And I might have my electrical stuff in here as well. And then obviously, if you go through here, it just takes you into the core of the base. But the idea that I'm going for is I kind of want the everything to be available to me from the bottom floor, from in the core. So that's why I've got my second loot room down here as well. It's very open plan while still being secure and still being fully honeycombed. And it's not going to cost us a hell of a lot to complete this base. So yeah. All right, there's your base update. Back to the supermarket. Let's start grinding. I see a player building a base. Okay, okay, okay. What are you trying to build here? I'm just trying to build a starter base, bro. Okay, well, listen, the trick is... I can drop you No, no, start small. Don't try and build a massive base to begin with. You need a door, and you need to upgrade this to, to, to wood yeah, or stone. I, I get that, I get that, but I have a whole clan, I have a whole uh, team of eight. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right, well, uh, yes. if you see my name with your team of eight, maybe uh, go easy on me, all right? Okay. Bye. Have fun, man. Thank you, bro. I'll keep you in touch, bro. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Apparently, he's in a team of eight. <laughs> I, could hear, I could hear them all talking in the background. All right, I'm back at the market. 
assume it's using the recycler. Oh, got him. He had a sword. Oh, 100 scrap. Give me that, boy. This guy's been farming a little bit, eh? What's inside the recycler? Not bad. Not bad at all. 123 scrap. See, little runs to the market, boys. You know, if you just want to be... You just want to chill out, take your time, gradually build up your scrap. Little small runs. Um, that guy's got an interesting base. Wood door, but metal door frame. You know, that's the sort of thing you don't want to do when you play the game because that's just very bait. That's just basically saying, hey, guys, raid me, please. <laughs> We are now sitting on 250 scrap. 250 more and we can craft that tier 2. It's too early in the wipe for anybody to be selling a tier 2. So I think we're going to have to craft that rather than buy it. Everybody's selling diesel fuel. What's with the diesel fuel, man? Right, I've got some swords here. Quite easy. All we need is a repair bench and basically just some metal. Repair bench and some metal fragments so we can repair the swords. Shout out to Sebi K, the eco king. So anyway, let the eco raid begin. There might be nothing in this base, but we'll check it out anyway. Repair all of my swords in here. It's really cheap to do this. It's much uh, better than doing a yoker because you're not causing all the attention and making a load of noise. Here we go, moment of truth. What's behind the door? Is it metal door? Oh, it is. It's a freaking metal door. Anytime I see a metal door frame with a wooden door, I've got to just, I've got to go and see what's behind the wooden door. So, anyway, in this instance, there was nothing. But, all right, let's get back to it. Oh, my God. Hey, what's your name? Is it worth it killing you? Do you have a lot of loot? Hey, don't get too close. Bye. Okay, friendly. Good job. Adios. I should be more brutal, shouldn't I, boys? But whatever. We're back at the supermarket. I hear a player. Hey! Don't follow me. Don't follow me, mate. Okay. There's a warning shot. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can see your loot. Okay, you have 20 scrap. I'm going to take that. And I'm actually going to leave some corn on your body so you can heal up. They need to, you know what they need to do? They need to add an inspect option so you can, you can pat people down and, and inspect them. Uh, I make a team. I don't really want to start a team right now because I'm like on the solo grind. But good luck, man. Take, uh, take some, some of those to heal up. Boom, boom, boom. But don't follow me, mate. Don't exploit my kindness. Adios. I still haven't got a fuse, man. Okay, he is following me. I've, I told him not to follow me. I've given him a warning. I gave you a warning. I'm sorry, you a. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Did that guy just get banned? All right. Deposited the, the little bit of farm there. Sorry, you DC'd HR. I see a player at the back of the supermarket. About to see two. And I see another one. Headshot him. He's about to get in his face, I think. Killed him. Oh, I'm about to get killed by his mate. Oh, there's always another, man. There's always another. Oh, it's Waffle with his eight-man clan. I'm going to go back over there and say hello. Actually, I want to ask him if he's got an electric fuse I can buy off him. Hey, yo, Waffle. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Are you friends with Waffle? Yeah, I'm the friend of Waffle. Nice. Yeah. Yes, he is my friend. Nice. Do you have an electric fuse, boys, that I could potentially buy? Uh, Oh, no, it's okay. i just been trying to find one. I've, and because you live next to supermarket, I thought you'd have one, you know? It's all good. Uh, Hello. Hello. I've been trying to get some resources, you know? Hello. Was can, a, I get some loot? can I get some loot? 
I just gave you loot. <laughs> he said Paddle. I just gave you loot. Thanks, oh, dude. Oh, hell no. There was, a, there was a guy camping outside that base before with a hazmat. This one or that one? Oh, yes. Beef jerky. You killed me. Wait. No. You were a good no. shot. No. Oh, my God. What? I'm sorry for swearing. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. What's up, beef jerky? All right. Well, I got to go. Uh, I'll see you later. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs> they know I'm a YouTuber now. For real? I love, love the bitch. I love you. <laughs> God. I appreciate you guys. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay on my little solo journey here. Um, so, yeah. it's uh, If you're watching this, Waffle, which I'm sure you are, and your teammates, appreciate you guys. Oh, yes. We got it. An electric fuse. Thank you, game. Took your time. Now, after finally obtaining the electric fuse, we can now start doing some monument runs and venture further inland where there's more action. First thing I did when I got home was added boxes to our loot room. We're definitely going to need more storage. And with that, I headed over to the closest green key card monument, the harbor. Unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with the harbor this wipe for blue key cards because both the sewer branch and the satellite dish are located in the snow. So after an easy trip over to the harbor, blue key card has been obtained. Um, home sweet home. We have 605 scrap in total. The tier two is being crafted. Let's go ahead and move the tier one. We'll place the tier one at the bottom. This is going to be my electrical room, but I'm sure I can fit my electrical stuff in here as well as the tier one. Um, and then, of course, the tier two. Easy. Now, one of the first things I want to obtain today is the computer station. I'd like to try out the new drone system, and I've got a really cool idea for it, which involves our island. So I'll get to that as soon as we've managed to get our hands on the computer station. So with the CCTV camera and the drone and the computer station, probably looking at about 400 scrap. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. We've already got 100, so just 300 more to go. All right, let's get to it. Player farming. Some good old fashioned. Hey, the nail gun, man. I absolutely love it. Extra bow. We'll take it. I'm going to place another tool cupboard at the back of the rock. Every good base needs a mailbox. Okay. If I do, I'll take that, mate. I'm going to add the little shooting floor up here. In fact, I'm going to build a room up here as well that's going to be our computer station room. I don't think we've got any room in the core for our computer station. So we'll put a sleeping bag in here as well so we can access it uh, really quickly and easily at any given moment. We are going to use the top of this rock soon at some point and build on top of it. But I do want to have a little shooting floor up here for now. I just want to appreciate the view. Add a wooden door here just to make our base look a bit newbier from the outside. 
And hopefully, we won't get raided while we're offline. Place another box inside our core here. I'll do. All right, guys. To the train yard. Let's go. Now we're finally venturing out from the safety of the coastline and we're heading over to the train yard, which is located pretty much in the middle of the map. Oh, and say hello to our closest neighbor, Riverboy. He's got himself a nice little boat base here. Looks like he's doing all right. Now, the trip to the train yard was smooth sailing at first. Managed to take the loot room and loot everything. But as I was exiting, I heard somebody stepping towards me. And so I found the closest hiding spot right here and stayed hidden. I didn't want to give this guy the full inventory of loot that I just managed to collect. And I was pretty down bad health-wise, with only 32 health. So my plan was to stay here for as long as possible until whoever this guy is decided to leave. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't quite as patient as I should have been. Boom. Just like that, the trip to the harbor and everything else is gone with three bullets to the back. That's rust for you. But it's not all that bad. Upon respawn, I decided to head straight back to the harbor to grab that blue key card. But along the way, I discovered a mishap on someone's base. The classic mistake, we've all done it. Oh, silence. <laughs> See, sometimes something good comes out of something bad. We may have died at the train yard, but we got a SAR. A fully repaired SAR as well. We've got a farmer, I think. Sorry, mate. Oh my god, there's a base with a twig. Is that twig roof? Uh, okay then. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Can we just jump in? Yeah, let's jump in. This guy has nothing. Hello there. Sorry for killing you. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. My man's a bit of a... All right, bro. Chill out. Okay, we're here, boys. Switch is going on. Fuse is going in. Has it already been looted? I feel like the switch... Yeah, it's already been looted recently. Kind of expected that because of the, you know, how early on in the wipe it is. I think I got pretty lucky last time I came. Okay, we're returning back to the island with um, almost 400 cloth, 160 scrap, and a full inventory of resources and stuff. So, uh, and two green key cards. Not bad. I've just I decided to come back instead of waiting at the harbor for the blue key card to respawn because you never know how long that'll take. Uh, it could take a while. We got any mail yet? No. Still a lonely islander. Okay, I want to see how much scrap we've got at the moment. Definitely want to research this semi-automatic rifle. How are we doing on scrap? We have 192. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm going straight back to the harbor, though. want to see if I can, that blue key card's respawned. Leave the semi-automatic here for now until we've got it researched. Wait, large furnace on there? What the hell? Probably the guy. Yeah, he's upgraded his roof now. But here's the large furnace. It's got that metal smelting. And that's it, thanks. I think he's running towards me. There we go. Hello, hello. Sorry. I, 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 you know what? I was going to be friendly to this guy when I was inside his base. But then he started attacking me, so thank you for the furnace loot. Let's... Uh, yes, blue key cards in there. Oh, there's a dead body back there with a nail gun. Ah, whoever killed that guy didn't care about a nail gun, so he probably had like a, you yeah. know. All right, inside we go. Blue key card, collected. Only one box again. Back to the boat, 74 scrap, and of course we've got the blue key card. A little bit of a setback dying at train yard. It was my fault, I should have stayed hidden, but it happened. We're back on track now with the blue key card. So let's get home and then let's make a trip to the water treatment plant. Straight back on the island. Home sweet home. Right, let's see if we can get that SAR research. I'm going to have my research table upstairs. Boom. Okay, semi-automatic rifle. 
nicely done. I always like, it's way better to find a semi-automatic rifle and research it rather than go down the tech tree. Going down the tech tree on the tier two to get to rifle costs a lot. I think it's like a thousand scrap. So, right, learn blueprint. And then the ammo, of course. Jobs are good and lads, we've got semi-automatic rifle. See a player. Adios, amigo. If I can get the finishing blow on him. GG, GG. Hey, he's quite friendly about it. He had meds. I can research those. Got his DB. I'm going to go back to base because I want to research the meds. Just imagine it like once we've got the pipes down, we won't have to make this swim back to the island every time. We can just, we can just depot the loot in the Dropbox base on mainland and it will automatically be transported over to the island for us. Do I have any mail yet? No. It's a lonely life being an islander. Right, we'll just store away one med because, you know, that's all we'll need to research. Uh, we got a DB and a revolver from that guy. Very nice. And a salvage dice pick. Why are so many people um, nice when they get killed now? I've killed so many. Uh, there's still a lot of toxic people, okay? Nate the Great, case in point. But I've killed a fair few people and when they've been downed, they've just been like, GG, man. All right. Rust players are just becoming more and more relaxed. Player farming. Killed him. Got a med up. Sa. Oh! Oh! We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, please, f off. Can I get to the water treatment plant or am I just going to keep getting kills? We're doing all right, lads. One, two, three, four, five thousand sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand metal ore. Six high external stone walls. They'll come in handy. We've actually got a stone gate as well that we got earlier. So, um, yes. He was roaming with um, a silencer. I'm going to roam with a silencer as well. Because why not? Store away them six walls. And once again, my friends, we are leaving the base. Let's go. We're trying to get to the uh, water treatment. I'm doing a nighttime uh, trip. I hear a play over nail gun. About two of them, I think. They just killed a guy. Killed one. I don't think they have double barrels or anything like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got nail gunned. <laughs> nail gunned me. I was playing way too aggressive. I should have just took my time. And the nail gun takes you out quick from close range. We're back. Blue key guard once again. Get off my island, boy. Medical syringe is being researched. Researching the weapon flashlight as well. Let's go. Double barrel horse, dude. Oh, oh. M39, great weapon. I have crafted some gear sets. Well, when, you, when I say gear sets, it's burlap. But it's organized. And I've crafted some more rifles. We're starting with the trusty JPEG again. This is the one. Now, clearly, the train yard is not doing it for us. So, we're going to switch it up a bit. Now that we've got a SAR, we can demolish the underground tunnels and get a lot of scrap and components that way. This is probably a better strategy than doing keycard monuments. It's quick and easy. And if the entrance is located in a safe zone like ranch, well, it just makes the whole thing a lot less risky. What is that noise? Is somebody doing like an Ayoka raid or something? I don't have much ammo left, but let's go check this out. Yeah, they're doing an Ayoka raid. have a look how far they were oh they got it down to 24 health man all right all right
boom. Off we go. Little bit. I'll take that. Definitely not worth the amount of time they probably spent there. Okay, I'm going to do some recycling, and then we're going to head home, depot, and then head straight back to the underground tunnels. Oh my god, free tech trash. That's what I'm talking about. And another weapon crate. Go on, give us another free tech. Oh, two tech. I mean, oh, another weapon crate that I missed here. Rifle body, nice. Got him. What was he doing? Makes no sense. He wasn't even attacking me. He had a SAR. Okay, what loot did he have? Just loads of ammo and loads of bandages. Could probably use those bandages. He was proper sus, man. Okay, we need to get home. We got an extra SAR. Five tech trash plus a Tesla coil, which gives an extra tech trash. player in there. Now, just as we were exiting the underground tunnels with an extremely good run, I mean, the tech trash look was unreal here. We've ran into a bunch of underground tunnel rats. Now, the strategy here is not to be aggressive. They've got control of one of the doors, and they've got the advantage of being sneaky. They could be hiding anywhere with the double barrel, and then we'll lose all the loot that we've just gained. Patience is key. I'm going to take our time, try and wear them out until they get bored. All right, bro, what are you doing? Rat, what are you doing? I'm the rat, huh? Interesting. down. One to go. There we go. Killed them both, boys. Play the patience guy at game sometimes. It's the way to go, especially when you're dealing with these guys who are literally rats. With the DB. Yeah, literally the definition of freaking rats. They just had water pipes. And that was bit, pretty much it. Okay, let's get home, lads. Let's get home. Well, we made it to the ocean. Now it's just a case of swimming over to the island. Decent run there. We killed a guy that had a semi-automatic rifle. And then, of course, also, we killed the two grubs. And we got a semi-automatic pistol, which I'm not sure I'll ever use because over the semi-automatic rifle, nah, pistol's rubbish. It used to be good, the pistol, um, back in the day, years ago. But they made, they really nerfed it down. This was before they released the Python. The Python wasn't even in the game back then. Um, and the Python kind of... The semi-automatic pistol used to be not as strong as the Python, but it was it was getting there, you know? It was pretty strong weapon. Um, computer station. We need 230. Yes, we have enough. All right then, boys. Let's go. And computer station is being crafted. We also have our drone, which has literally been with us since basically the start of the wipe. We found it really early on, uh, but I appear to have lost it, actually. Where is my drone? Bear with me. Oh, yes, of course. It's in this small box, which was the first box we placed in the base, so it makes sense. There you go, the drone. This is going to be so good, man. I know it's only a drone, but it's just the idea of being able to fly around without being killed. Obviously, your drone can get shot down. Okay, so we're going upstairs to place this. I have a room upstairs, which is going to be dedicated to my computer station. And also, that's close to the roof, so we can take, we can put the drone on the roof easily. Computer station is going down. Place that right there. Very nice. All right, then. Let's place the drone down on our rock, on top of our rock like that. Set ID to drone 55. Five. Drone 55. Five. Okay. 
Then we mount on here and we put drone 55 in. Oh, okay, I've taken off. Oh my god. This is crazy. Okay, how do we go down? Down's control, up shift. There you go. It's a bit, it's relatively slow, but it's very cool. <laughs> Can I just fly this forever? It doesn't even require low grade. It basically, if you just, if you get shot down, then you're dead. Oh, you see the signal starting to go now? So you have to be careful of that. But it just about reaches the mainland. Just about. Can I have a little uh, sneak peek in this guy's base? See what's going on here. This is really good for like spying on bases and, um, you know, kind of scouting bases out. I might have to make a separate base for the computer station. Now, as you can see, the problem with this drone is that it's very limited in terms of its range. The max you can go with this is probably about three to four grids. And since we live on an island, for us, that's pretty much basically as soon as we get to mainland, we start to lose signal. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to build a separate base on the mainland, which is going to have a computer station inside. We'll have a sleeping bag inside. The drones will remain on our island, but the computer station base, which will be receiving the signal, will be placed on the mainland. This is also the base that I'm going to use to have our pipe storage. But one thing at a time, we'll get to that soon. But we're just going to build a, a little one by one, literally made out of wood, where we can have the computer station. I'm thinking that eventually we can have two computer stations, one on the mainland and one in our base. Like there's a big, ta there's a tower over there that I want to fly inside of see what's in there. I want to see that big wooden base, if we can fly on top of that and see what's going on there. What's Hello, Sue. What's up, mate? Of course, I've ran out of bloody... It's always the last one, in it. Looks like we're good. Bang that computer station down. Boom. Let's grab this. Take it. Now we're going to get way more range out of this on the mainland. Now I want to check out this guy's base. This is the base from a... Oh, there's a player farming trees here. Let me quickly say hello to him. <laughs> Whoa! Get that spear away from me. <laughs> These are the owners of this base. Hey, I'm going to have to go and have a word with him, man. You can't be attacking my drone like this. Hey, unacceptable behavior, this. Absolutely. You have just tried to uh, attack my drone. You could have damaged the drone, my friends. Hi. Yes. He hello, hello. Hello. Where are you from? You tried to attack my drone, got... Hello. I tried to attack my drone, dog. I tried, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, you didn't? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I didn't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die! I got killed to a guy with a spear with a rifle. Okay, no, I, I know these guys look newbie, but I'm not going to let them kill me like that, all right? I was in the middle of role-playing. Killed a guy, but the guy, on he's going to come on top of that roof with the SAR I just gave him. Guarantee that. I heard the SAR. I got an MP5. That was just a random guy, though. It wasn't one of the guys from the wooden base. I don't want to get too close to their base with my drone now because they shoot it down, basically. I see them both on top of the roof there. It's very easy to shoot down a drone. It's only three hits. I need ladders, ideally. Try and kill them with that. I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to see if we can uh, grab a ladder. Let's see if we, if we can like get in there. Got ladders. Oh, 
What is this, boys? It's the stilts that gets me. Got him. Later. Later. And I'll take back my Sam, mate. Adios, amigo. It's such a weird base. I'm going back with ladder. With, I'm going back with uh, maybe like some eco raid stuff or something. in the base now. Oh, I feel bad for this. Sorry. There's there's consequences to your actions of killing me. TC's locked, of course. Not sure how much damage a grenade will do, but only one way to find out. Okay, their bags are going to get destroyed. Sorry. Okay, last hit. Last few hits, should I say. Here we go. TC. Ah. Yeah, I mean, not bad. All right, we shall bid them farewell. I'm not going to grief them. If they do want to take the base back, then they can. This had to be done. I mean, you know, you can't kill me and expect to get away with it. I don't care how new to the game you are. Decent little eco raid, I would say. I think there's a player on the top of the base. The only thing this needs is um, night vision. Oh, they're back. They've returned. Hello, boys. Yeah, don't attack my drone this time. I'll imagine if you could talk. <laughs> well, at least they've come back. I don't feel as bad now. Good stuff, boys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to research some of the electrical stuff in the tier one. I want to get the base electrified pretty much now. Um, well, very soon, anyway. It's about time, man. It's about time. We've got some lights in this place. Okay, we've researched a decent amount. I'm just going to go to the lighthouse with some loot to recycle. I'm not going to take a lot, but I'll probably do two trips so that we can... Um, just so we're not risking a lot on one trip. Don't do it. Don't kill him, please. Okay, stop attacking me. Don't kill him, please, please. He's my, my kid, he's my kid. Please help he's me. He's in training, please. he's in training. We just started, please. Okay, I'll help you both up, hang on. We need this more than you do, please help oh, me Oh, you're awesome, man. I hope we don't get, I hope we don't get a yoke out of nowhere. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, man. help your friend up. Let me take 2,000 stone, that's all, that. all I want. Thank you, boys. Okay, okay. They're building a base right there. <laughs> See, I can, I am friendly. You know, I know there's been some moments today where I've been a little less friendly, but it's all been provoked, you know? It's not come from me. All right, there's a nice little 140 scrap there. I'm going to take some more stuff this time, though. I didn't, I didn't take uh, that much with me. I was too scared to lose it. We need 320 scrap to get to the electric furnace. Literally just need 40 more. That big clan base is being rocket raided. Okay, well, extra saw for me. Hey, stay up there, boy. I mean, I'm just no I just found some binoculars. I've been watching, but it, hey, I just found these binoculars. I've been watching this go down. It is quite the, <laughs> it's quite the show, boys. Am I? The, are you the guy I helped before, who I downed and helped up? No. Oh no, no, no. I've been up here the whole time. <clears throat> oh, there's a. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to anybody. Yeah, I killed one guy. I, I think. A guy like. Mm -hmm. In the jump upstairs. Yeah, I see. Okay, well, look. Uh, are you com Are you completely naked? 
Yeah, 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 completely naked. I got a bed. Diving tank. Okay, there's there's uh there's just a wolf headdress and a honch and a poncho down here for you. Okay, beauty, thanks, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna dip, man. Good luck. All right, good luck. Okay, a hundred scrap. It's, this is it. We'll be electrifying the base in just a moment. Back to base with an extra sir. And have we got any mail? No. Still a lonely islander. Right, now I actually have enough scrap to research the electric heater. So, without further ado, cue the base upgrading montage. Okay, the solar panels are down and the battery's down and all my root combiners and electrical branches are neatly organized right here. First thing I'm going to check out is this new, before I do the lights or anything like that, is because this is a new item in the game, I'm going to check this out right now. This is the PTZ CCTV camera. Boom. Set ID like we did with the drone. Grab our trusty wire. Okay, I've connected the CCTV camera. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I'm crafting a second computer station, so we've got one at this base as well. Okay, right, I've put the camera in, and we have liftoff. This camera has a full 360 view. Oh, and it's got a zoom. We can't forget about that. How do we zoom in? Oh, there we go. Oh, mate. Okay, no, the, this is way, way better than the regular camera. So we can see exactly what's going on over there. There's our computer station base. Now, I want to show you guys something cool. So give me a moment because this camera can also do something else, which is pretty awesome. All right, guys. So I'm in my living room right now. Sorry if the audio is terrible. I'm using the camera microphone. And so I've moved into a different room because I want to show you this new feature that they've added to the Rust Plus app. You can now look at CCCB cameras that you've set up in your base through the Rust Plus app. In other words, you can be anywhere in the world and you'll be able to see the CCB cameras you've placed down in the game. Bear in mind, this is the very early stages of this, so it's uh, not the best quality in the world, I will say that. All right, so we've got the phone right here. This is the Rust Plus app. As you can see, Rustoria US Medium. This is the server we're on. We can have a look at the map. We can see our island right there. Um, if we've got any teammates, it allows us to talk to them as well using this app. But um, anyway, well, let's have a look at this camera. So we click cameras and then boom, there you go. There you go. Now we can move this around because we've got one of the new cameras. And as you can see, it's moving around. Now I will say the quality is absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> but this is the early stages of it, man. I'm looking at my base in real time through the camera on my phone and I can do this anywhere. Of course, I can zoom in as well, which makes the quality slightly better, I will say. Um, and if there's any players around here, we'll be able to see them. In fact, let's test that out. I want to see what my player looks like. Okay, boys. Here we go. There's my character. There he is. It's got my name above my character's head. Very much a blur, but you can definitely see that, there's, that that's me. And there you go. <laughs> now in due time, this is going to be improved and it's going to look way better. And I'm really excited for that. Um, but this is the very early stages. And as you can see, I can pan the camera and we can see mainland over there. And we can even see people's bases over on mainland. And we can still zoom in as well. So we can zoom in. So I can zoom all, zoom all the way in. And yeah. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I love this. I love being able to just go on my phone. I could be anywhere. And I can have a look at how my base is doing. All right. Back to Rust, boys. All right. Base is taking shape. I want to finish the electricity now. Add all the electric heaters, the lights, and all that good stuff. And then I've actually got a plan that I want to show you guys. I've got a cool plan for the drones. So I'm going to build that as well. It's like a base extension. But yes, let's get this electricity completed. Well, 
Looks like we got a player on top of the base. Good job I've got a computer station. Let's see what he's doing with the camera. With your crossbow, mate. Yeah? With your little crossbow, lad. Okay, let's get out and kill him. He doesn't seem to have anything. Got him. Man, please help me, donkey. Please. Get off my island, boy. Electric furnace is down. No need for regular furnaces anymore. That'll give us loads more space down here in the core. Now, as I just mentioned, we're going to need laptops and CCTV cameras to craft auto turrets. And the best place to find laptops and CCTV cameras, you might ask, is the underwater labs. This place has these little crates that spawn. They kind of look like laptops. They fold up and it has a 17% chance of dropping one or two laptops or CCTV cameras. The only thing with a higher drop chance of getting a laptop or CCTV camera is the APC crate, which is from Bradley, or the locked crate, which spawns randomly around the map and is always extremely competitive. So a quick trip to the underwater labs proved successful. I was able to get my hands on several laptops and several CCTV cameras. Now then, let's start the first process of automation, auto turrets. first turret base is down right let's imagine that i can hear somebody outside my base right so first of all we go on the computer station and we take a look at our camera right here there's the auto turret base that i built all i've got to do is press a button on my phone and boom the door opens and then again if i close it the door closes so yep once again open and close that is literally it it's connected to my phone and we're going to have probably, as I said, two or three of these bases around the island. Okay, now I'm going to build that drone extension I was talking about. Morning time is upon us. Let me show you guys the drone tower. I've got three drones in total. Okay, but check this out. So, we've got the drone. The drone takes off like so. I need to destroy all that twig, which I will do in a moment. But look at this. Let's imagine that we've just flown around a bit. Okay, and we're coming home. I can open all these doors with the click of a button. You ready? And go. Look at that. And then all we have to do is just go inside and down we go. Close the doors <laughs> and the drone is stored away. I'm going to do that with all three drones right now. Okay, now I need to show you guys another thing. Check this out. I've just F1 killed. Now we can spawn inside of the, the computer station base that we've got on mainland. We can go in here, and now we can obviously see um, the island. But of course, let's take off map drone one. Signal's not the best, but it's all good. It reaches, that's the main thing. And... We're off. Close the doors behind us. And there you go. I'm going to have to upgrade our computer station base to stone at some point. But let's patrol the area a little bit and see what's going on. And this guy's got a shop now. This is the dude on the first day of the wipe where we eco-raided through his door. He's even added a shop. I wonder what he's selling. I can't check them out while I'm in the drone. See if we can uh, have a look inside. Oh, he's got a repair bench there. Oh my god, this guy's base is all open, and the fact that we could just fly up here with the drone and check this out, I need to investigate this further. Look, it's all open. Oh, I think he's online. What's he doing? Wait, he 
He's just destroyed my drone with a bucket of water. Hello, uh, is anybody home? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I, I... It was that your drone? Yeah, that was my drone. You freaking destroyed my drone! Uh, that's pretty... <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Dude, how would I have known that that would destroy it, okay? Same. Look. I had no idea. The water destroyed it. Like, straight up. I'm kind of hoping that didn't, you know, cost too much. No, I have I have a few more. I have a few more at my base. Oh, I <laughs> think it's man. cool, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. In fact, wait there, bro. It's good to see him online. He seems like a chill guy, man. And there was me on the first day of the white trying to raid the dude. I'm going to fly over there with my second drone. Good to see him. <laughs> I'm gonna give this guy some free loot. He seems cool. You know what I'm gonna give this guy? I'm gonna give this guy... Can I craft metal window bars? Metal window bar. Hey, mate. Hey, what's up? I brought you some stuff for your base. Hey, yo, yo, what's up? Huh? I brought you some... Those are for your windows. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I can't make those, so that's all. Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, and take that, it helps with farming. I'll take all that. I've also, I've got a confession to make. What's up, dude? On the first day of the wipe, I raided your wooden door. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. That was you, that's hilarious, man. No, I had to check oh, because... Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah. I had to check because you had a... A metal, metal wall, wooden yeah. door, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well... It's because I put the wall backwards and I had to upgrade it to rotate it. Oh, so fair. I, got, I had to do a metal wall, yeah. All right, well, uh, it's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Well, thanks, buddy. I've paid my dues for what I did. Forgot to give him the furnace, but I'm sure he's got a furnace. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? He probably doesn't even... My bro! Hello! Come, 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 tal, 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 tal. Come, 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 tal. Come! Come, come, come. Okay, enough of the drone trolling. I could do this all day, guys. I could literally just annoy people with a drone <laughs> all day long. But we've got work to do. The final island project. This is the big one, though. This is the one that's really going to make this island automated. The pipeline. Let's do it. First plan of action. Convert our computer station base into the deposit base. Step one complete, we've built the deposit base. Now we just need to build a giant pipe going from this base to our island. Sounds easy, right? I wish. Enjoy the pipe building montage.
Okay. We're going to find out very soon if this works. Look at this, lads. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. A massive pipe. There's some really cool stuff we can do with this, by the way, guys. It's not just going to... This thing is not only going to transport loot for us, but it's going to craft for us as well. We can eventually maybe get it so that it actually transports crafted loot back to the deposit base. So we put the raw resources in the deposit base. It transports that to our island base crafts whatever we want it to craft, medical syringes, anything at all, then it transports it back to the deposit base. So I don't know how we're going to do all this, but the pipe's built, the functionality's there, now we've just got to figure out how everything else works. It's working! It's being transported, look, into my large, into my electric furnaces, all the way from mainland. I need to clear up this box because it's a mess. This is crazy, but it works, okay? It's a bit of a mess, right? But this is the prototype base. It will get better. I will get better at doing this pipe stuff. We place the loot inside the boxes in the base that we've built on the coastline, the computer station base. That loot gets transported here. The metal ore and the sulfur ore gets put in these furnaces. As you can see, they're filled up. And they get transported into these boxes once they're done. As you can see, the metal is going up and the sulfur is going up as well. Any loot whatsoever that we store in the base um, over on mainland will get transported here. Could be a rocket launcher, could be an AK. I could kill a full geared guy and then just want to depot his loot in the um, computer station base. It will all get transported over here. Now, this is the very, very basic version of the pipe system, but I'm about to make it a lot more complicated. See, I found a tutorial on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description, actually. This guy explains how you can make the pipe system automatically craft rockets for you. Now, all you need to make this work is three industrial crafters. And my plan is to make it so that when the metal ore and sulfur ore is deposited in our deposit base, it gets transported over here and it gets automatically put in our electric furnaces and automatically smelted for us. Oh, and if you're wondering how I managed to get a rocket, I got it from the crate at Oil Rig. But this video is already way too long and I'm sure you guys just want me to get to the meat and potatoes. It's 4.38 a.m. on Sunday morning and I want this video to be out today. Love you guys. But I gotta get this done. So I'm not gonna include the boring oil rig trip I did. I, I did kill a player though. I killed a player, but it was a simple kill because he was brain dead. But there you go. I'm gonna make it so that once that metal and sulfur is smelted, it will get transported automatically to our tier one workbench, which will craft gunpowder. That gunpowder will then be transported into a box. And that box will have sulfur, gunpowder, low-grade, and metal fragments, which will be transported into our Tier 3 workbench. And on the Tier 3 workbench, we're going to have two industrial crafters, one that will craft explosives and one that will craft rockets. This system is only possible if you put limitations on the industrial conveyors. But I'm going to show you what I mean rather than just tell you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's working. It's working. We're in business. I finally got it working. Right, I'll explain everything in a minute. I know, <laughs> I know this looks horrible to look at. Um, let me explain what's happening. The tier one's um, creating all my gunpowder. That gunpowder's then being transferred into this box here. The gunpowder is then going from this box over into these two right here. So, as you can see, this is creating my explosives on the tier three. Okay. It's, I've limited the amount of resources that can go inside this to the exact amount it takes to make the explosive. As you can see, once the gunpowder in this reaches 50, which it will do in just a moment, it will create an explosive. Now, right here, this is creating rockets. As you can see, it's already created one rocket. So that is basically how it works. The main thing to keep in mind with this is that the industrial crafters have to have limitations on them. This industrial crafter is limited. This is the one connected to the crafter, which makes our explosives. We've limited the amount so that it doesn't overflow or so that it doesn't steal all of the resources because obviously some of our other stuff needs resources as well. And there you go. We've just created another rocket. There's two. So 
All we need to do is go to mainland, farm sulfur and metal, put it in the box, and the base will do the rest for us. It is literally crafting rockets for us right now. Now that we've set up our base to automatically craft rockets for us, I went out on a huge farming spree. All we need to do is deposit metal ore and sulfur ore in our deposit base, and our island will do the rest for us. Okay, I just farmed lots of loot. I have a uh, decent amount of metal and sulfur there. And all I have to do is pop it in this box. And then everything will be taken care of. And there we go. It's already transferring. Straight back out. With our, we don't even have to do anything else. Because we're just straight back out. Farming sulfur again. Now after doing a few farming trips. I headed back to our island base. And at this point. The industrial crafter had already crafted four rockets for us. We weren't even on the island at all. This base was doing everything for us. Now lads. The plan was to farm loads of sulfur and end today's video with a bang using all the rockets that I'd managed to collect. But unfortunately, this is not a scripted video and I can't really control my fate in Rust. At the end of the day, I'm just a lone solo player going up against the odds. See, things started to get more and more hectic. A couple of geared players came on my island. I managed to take them out. I started to create a couple of enemies, put it that way. And well, before I knew it, I heard this very dreaded sound that we all hate to hear. Yes. The sound of rockets pummeling into my base. See, we'd completed our project of automating this base and creating a self-sustaining rocket factory. But in the snap of the finger, that's rust for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I put a little bit more into this one, especially with the intro. Did a bit of green screening. This is uh, some behind the scenes of kind of what I built in my living room. Some of you probably wondering how I managed to get a Tesco basket. Well, we'll just say that I've um, borrowed it. <laughs> it will be getting returned. Okay, guys. Um... If you've got this far in the video, you're already a legend because you've watched the entire thing, which is massive. So, uh, yeah. Good luck in your Rust journeys, my friends. Adios, amigos. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, boys. Peace out.